Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about the contents of the next DLC and online, its release date, uh, so much more, and all the questions that you guys had for me. Now, as always, if you want to get involved in a video like this, just go down in the description, follow me on Twitter, and use that hashtag AskBoss whenever I'm looking for Q&A questions, and you might find yourself featured in the next one, but we've got a lot to discuss today, so let's not waste any more time, and let's get it started. All right, our first question comes from Greg, and he says, Do you think the next DLC will cost more than smugglers? If yes, do you think it will be a great money-making method, such as vehicle cargo? So absolutely do I think the next update is going to cost more than smugglers run. So the rumored theme is either retro or hipsters part two. We'll just assume it's that for now. And yeah, I think it's going to be that. So let's take a look at the DLCs that came out in 2017. They've all gotten more expensive. We had Cunning Stunt Special Vehicle Circuit, which I think was kind of a fluky DLC, so I'm not really going to include that. Gun Running was around 50 or $60 million to buy everything. Smuggler's Run was then $78, I think, million dollars in order to buy everything. So, yeah, I think this next update is going to be the most expensive. Typically, Rockstar make the December DLCs expensive by default, even going back to 2015 when updates typically weren't that pricey with executives and other criminals. So I think it could easily cost over $100 million. And will there be a great money-making method such as vehicle cargo? I would hope so, because the last two money-making methods haven't been all that great. The bunker stuff isn't really that good, and the smugglers run hangar stuff isn't really all that great either. So bottom line, start saving your money, because yeah, I do think the next update, whether it's gonna be I'm Not a Hipster Part 2 or something else, will be the most expensive update we've ever received in the game. Now, speaking of when that update could potentially come out, this next question comes from Merrick who says, do you think there will be a new update after the last drip feed vehicle like in Smuggler's Run after the Ocelot Ardent? I do, Merrick. I think that about maybe a week or two after the last vehicle, which is looking to be the uh, either the laser or the coil cyclone, we're going to get the update, just like what they did with Smuggler's Run and Gun Running. That's the new style of drip feeding that Rockstar does. They stretch it all the way out to the end of the next update, so it doesn't feel like there's a long gap between DLCs. Now, some people might like this, some people might not like this, but at least it gives us a better idea of when it's looking like the next update will come out in online rather than playing a guessing game. And for us, we kind of know it's going to be sometime in early to middle December. Might have been obvious for some people, but that's looking like exactly when the next update will be arriving. Moving on, this next question comes from Manacool, who says, How much money do you think we're going to need to buy everything? And I am not a hipster part two. So I kind of revealed this in the first question, but my guess is going to be somewhere over $80 million, likely $100 million. Now, of course, that all depends on the content that was ed that's added, but just take a look at the last two DLCs. Gun running costs 50 to $60 million. Smuggler's Run costs 70 to $80 million to buy everything. So why would Rockstar not make it in that 80 to 90 to $100 million range if you want to buy everything? That, of course, would depend on the sort of content they add, like if the weaponized vehicles are expensive, if the properties are expensive, if the clothing is costly. So it'll, of course, all depend on everything they ultimately decide to add. But yeah, I think this is going to be one of the most expensive updates, if not the most expensive update we've ever received in the game. Now, speaking of that content, we have a question from Luciana who says, how many supercars do you expect to be in the next DLC? My guess is at least two, like the last DLC. So that would make sense. I think in Gun Running, we got two supercars. In Smuggler's Run, we got two supercars as well. And typically how Rockstar are doing it is they release one of the supercars on day one, and then they save one of them for the drip feed. So for example, we got the Wagner, and then we ended up getting, what was it, the XA-21. And then in this update, we had the Vision. And then the one that was held for drip feed was the Coil Cyclone. So I think they'll do the exact same thing. They'll end up releasing a supercar on day one. Because they did state there would be new additions to Legendary Motorsports. And then sometime later down the line, whether it's in December, or January, or February, we'll end up getting another supercar via the drip feed. I think that's how Rockstar like it. Because they give you something exciting on day one. And then they make you wait a couple weeks or months uh, for something else that's exciting, at least in terms of vehicles and supercars. Our next question comes from Cammy Maxwell, who says, what vehicles do you think will come with I Am Not A Hipster 2? So once again, that is just the rumored theme. There's obviously no confirmation there, but 
We know that Rockstar are going to be doing new additions to Legendary Motorsports, so that confirms a couple things. We're either going to be getting supercars, sports cars, or sports classics. That's pretty much the only type of vehicle that shows up on the Legendary Motorsports, but other than that, I think we would need to look back at the first hipster update that included vehicles like the Panto and the Dubsta 6x6 and the Blade and the uh, Glendale. So I think we'll see vehicles like that. Muscle cars, sports classics, sports off-road, and I would like that because within the last couple of updates, there's been a lot of either weaponized vehicles or planes. There haven't been that many great normal cars added into the game. I think Rockstar has gotten away with what they do well, which is adding unique, awesome vehicles like that. In fact, I think the I Am Not a Hipster update had some of the most diverse, unique, and awesome vehicles we've ever received in the game. So I'd love to see them go back and do something like that as I thought those vehicles were incredibly awesome when they added them all the way back in 2014. So who knows some of the awesome things that could continue to do now. All right, this next question comes from Andre. He says, if we do get mansions in the next DLC, do you think it will include the massive estate mansions in Vinewood and how much? So if we do get mansions, yeah, I think there's going to be a wide variety of ones we can buy, ranging from the most expensive ones, like you mentioned, the massive Vinewood estates, hopefully all the way to some of those retro-looking beach houses and smaller homes in Mirror Park. I think a nice variety would certainly be awesome here. Now, I could easily see the expensive Vinewood states that you're talking about being somewhere around the lines of $10 million. I mean, if yachts are $8 million, I mean, what's to stop Rockstar from doing a 10 or $11 million mansion? That's where I would see that price. And then some of the lower end mansions or some of the regular homes, beach houses, stuff like that, I could see hovering around the one to three or $4 million range. I mean, Rockstar's obviously going to put a premium on them since they're going to be new DLC items. And just based off of other things we have in the game, I mean, if renting out an office is $4 million, a, a buying a yacht is 6 to $8 million, it would make sense that the most expensive Vinewood Estate mansions would likely be above that in the 10 to $12 million range. So that's what I'm going to guess the price range will be. Speaking of those mansions, we have a question from Madly Hi-Ho who says, do you think that with mansions, we'll get a free car like the yacht, we got a free boat and jet ski? So this is actually not too far-fetched and Madly Hi-Ho is right. So when you purchase a yacht, you get like vehicles that you can use that spawn there, helicopters, boats, etc. I think with the biker club, the biker clubhouse, you ending up getting like a free bike. I think it's like the rat bike. So yeah, I think that would be cool, maybe to incentivize people to buy a mansion or to, you know, make the price more acceptable. Maybe they would give you like free cars, like at a minimum one free car. Or maybe it says like, hey, with this mansion choice, pick out any two or three cars of your choice from the websites. That would be really cool. Now, I'm not sure how Rockstar could prevent that from getting abusive, like players taking advantage of that system. But at the same rate, I think that would be awesome. Like if your mansion came fully stocked with three cars that you bought to go along with it, that would be pretty cool. And hopefully they wouldn't limit it to like the types of vehicles you get in the CEO or interaction menu. I wish they would literally allow you to like open up the website and pick out three vehicles you wanted. So that's a great idea, Madly Hi-Ho. I think that would be incredibly cool and would be a great way to incentivize certain players to end up buying those mansions. So that is pretty awesome. Moving on, we have a question from Jesper and they say, if Rockstar added a new rocket boost vehicle in the game, what vehicle do you think they would add? So I'm not sure if they would add this, but my personal preference would be for the Deluxo. So the Deluxo is a vehicle that was featured in Vice City and it's based off of the DMC-12 DeLorean. Now, if that name is familiar to you, well, that's because that was the vehicle featured in Back to the Future. So this vehicle, when it hit 88 miles an hour, it could time travel. In the second one, it had the ability to fly. So I think that would be incredibly cool if maybe they did something unique with the Back to the Future vehicle. If it hit 88 miles an hour, then you could use like the rocket thruster or something like that. That would be awesome. I think that would be one of the coolest vehicles they could add a Back to the Future-esque Deluxo DeLorean. That'd be amazing, and that's the rocket boost vehicle that I'm hoping Rockstar add into the game. Yell Fisher says, what are things you are mostly hoping for in the I Am Not a Hipster Part 2 update? So once again, not confirmed, but these are the things I would hope for. A nice variety of vehicles, muscle cars, supercars, sports classics, sports cars, off-road, 
that would be nice. I'd like to see a new type of property added, whether it's mansions or houses. I'd like to see a new type of business added. Hopefully something that has to do with the nightclubs or some of the establishments already built into the game. I'd like to see a nice variety of clothing. That would be pretty great as well. Some new haircuts for male and female would be cool as well. Uh, new features, like whether it's actions or interaction menu mode upgrades, stuff like that. I'd like to see just a quality of life update improvement in this update. Now, I'm not sure Rockstar could do that, but that would be one of my improvements as well. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I personally haven't loved the last two updates. I really wish Rockstar would not focus on the you know repetitive business strategy going from point A to point B, and I hope they would mix it up a little bit. That's really my goal for the next update. Purple Ninja says, do you think we'll ever be able to buy the Space Docker slash Lost Slam Van? I hope so. Those are sort of like the last two vehicles that Rockstar haven't added into the game. They've added the Duke of Debt. They've added a couple of other locked single player vehicles. What about that Space Docker and that Lost Slam Van? Add that into the game, Rockstar. I know a ton of people that would buy the Lost Slam Van. And I know the Space Docker would have been awesome for Halloween. I mean, that's like easy content right there you didn't even have to make a new vehicle you could have just made the space docker available that would have been so cool for halloween i guess they missed out on that opportunity too hopefully they will maybe sometime in the future i'm not too sure all right and these final two questions really don't have to do with you know the next update or gta but i wanted to include them in anyways this comes from ethan who says will you do videos on red dead redemption 2 when it gets released next year if so, what kind of videos, e.g. Easter eggs? Yeah, I'll be doing videos on Red Dead Redemption 2, popular to contrary belief. A lot of people assume I've never done anything other than GTA 5. I've uploaded videos on Bully. I've uploaded videos on Red Dead Redemption. I've done videos on Fallout 4, Just Cause 3, uh, lots of other open world games. You just got to find the right game that I think would make for interesting videos. And I think Red Dead Redemption 2 will certainly be one of those. And our final question today comes from Knife Guy, and he says, are you planning on any other videos like the Halloween heist and he includes a winky face in there too I am obviously knife guy you know the answer to that so yes we'll be doing more videos like the Halloween heist that kind of machinima so yes that's going to be coming soon can't really reveal too many more details as I don't want to spoil it but if you did enjoy that video we released on Halloween well there will be more like that coming soon but anyways, that's all the questions that I'm going to be answering in this week's Q&A video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. As always, if you want to possibly get involved in the next one, all you got to do is go to in the description, follow me on Twitter, use the hashtag AskBoss, and you might find yourself featured in the next video like this. If you did go and enjoy the video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.